Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for SP Page Builder 3. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to add the Carousel Pro uh, add on here. Now, they have two you have the Carousel, just the basic one, and then you have the Pro. The Pro gives you a little bit more in terms of uh, customization features here. So, let's get and just customize this. So, from the very top, you can choose the speed, how fast, and you can choose the intervals. And do you want this to auto play? If you have an auto play, anytime that uh, the page load is going to automatically just show the next item. So, let's go ahead and edit this one, and we're just going to clone it. So, let's go on here. And also, you can choose do you want to show the navigation arrows? If you set to no, you notice the arrows are going to disappear. And if you want the controllers to show, it's going to be at the bottom here in a second. So, let's click to configure this. So, there's the title. And let's add an image. Now, this is the background image, and there's the carousel image. So, if you have a, a big image that you want to incorporate, you can do that here. So, let's grab this first uh, carousel image. So, I'm going to put this. So, now you have the carousel image. And if you wanted to add a background image, you can do that as well. Or if you're going to have a link to a website where you want to grab the image from, you can put that image, put that link right here, and the system is going to automatically do that for you. So, let's just grab a background. So I'm going to use this same image as the background for this. So you see how that looks. If you have a different style that you wanted to do, you can put in uh, the link for the button here. You can have it open in a new window. You can have this uh, scroll down here to the default styles. You can change the button styles for it. And you can also change the title color here and just go over to the style. You can change the text color. So if you don't want the text color to be this black, it's too dark, you can actually make it whiter. So now the text color has just been changed. And you can change the link color for this as well. So let's go back here to the general. Let's click on this cog to configure this a little bit more. And the line height, if you want to expand it a little bit more, is going to give it a little more space. And if you want to make the title bigger, the font size bigger, you can do that. And if you have a YouTube video that you want to incorporate in this, you can put the YouTube or uh, Vimeo link here. So let's do that. So I have a link here from YouTube or Vimeo. You can put that there, and now you have that link there. So if you don't want an image to show, you can use a video instead of an image uh, to showcase that. And then once you're done, you can click on Save. And I really, really like this because it wasn't like this before. You had the option of just using just an, a text, but now they've made some changes to it, so you can actually incorporate a video with it. So let's scroll down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this video and leave just that image and I'm going to click to save this and I'm going to clone this so that the next slide is going to be instead of an image is going to be a video. So the link that I had before I'm just going to copy and paste it here. So now we have the video. So once you make the changes now when you showcase on the front end here the first one you have this image the next one has the video and you can play the video. And this is another clean way for you to do that. <coughs> And then of course at the bottom here you have the controller. So if you don't want to show the controllers, you can come right to show controllers. You click to uh, disable it. Uh, you click on save. And then once you refresh your page, you're going to notice now that that's disappeared. So now that's gone and people can just click. Or you can also have this set to the auto where it auto plays and you don't want to show the arrows. And you can set the speed here for the auto. So now you set the auto and uh, it's going to take those arrows off. And it's just going to auto play. And then of course you get to the next one. So there are no arrows for this to show. And you can change how fast you want this to, to go, the speed and also the intervals. And you can make that changes here. So it gives you a lot of control and flexibility over that. So that's how you're able to make the changes for this. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. So anytime that I release a new video like this one, you're going to be the first person to get access to it.